Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm very nervous to do this video but I'm also really really excited. I have been wanting to do this kind of project pan for a long long time but I was too overwhelmed in the, oh, uh, in the fall to do this so I thought let's start off the new year with this kind of project and then we can take on other projects after. So this is going to be a rolling project pan roulette kind of. It is called My Whole Collection Project Pan. And I saw Becky Lopkanga doing this project and I was like, that is a brilliant idea. I'm pretty sure she created this kind of project. And then I saw Alexandra doing it. I love that girl. She is so close to uh, 1k and that is just amazing for her. This project is heavily inspired by them. So I will leave them down below because this project is amazing. So I hope I'm not going to fail. So I have here an Excel spreadsheet with all my products in it, or the ones I could find at least. So I'm going to pull 10 items. So it's going to be a project tin pan, but it is going to be rolling and roulette. I don't know when I'm going to end this because you can get everything which can last three months or up to a year. I don't know. So this is going to be when I want to end it basically. In my spreadsheet, I have 369 items and I'm going to use random.org because I don't have an iPhone and I can't get those fancy things. Maybe I can find an app, I have no idea. But I'm going to randomize my whole collection and let's see what it is. I have not counted every single pan. Uh, Becky have done that. I just couldn't. <laughs> so when, if I get a palette, I will randomize how many shadows there's in that palette. I have talked for way too long now, so I will just get going. So, I hope you can see that. Where are we? Number 149. It is the Blush Tribe Paulina palette. I've just done a haul before this video, and I have just hauled this, and this is my newest eyeshadow palette in my collection and it is looking like this and it is beautiful i love it so for the shadows i'm obviously only going to hit pan and um, i'm really excited to see what colors color i get because i have a very colorful panda palette so because there are nine eyeshadows in this palette i'm going to randomize one to nine and i got number nine <laughs> which is the dark purple one and it is called aubergine Okay, my camera was not acting well, but I got the shade Aubergine, which is eggplant in, in English. And that is just, I believe it's what she means. It is a beautiful dark purple, and it's kind of like the shade I, I have in my crease. That is the color. I'm very excited about this. That is beautiful. So that is the color. So we have one, two, three hundred and sixty-nine, and we got two hundred and sixty-three. Oh, it is a lip gloss, kind of met metallic lip gloss. It is from W7. Found it <laughs> finally. So this is the W7 Metal Pout Matte Lip Gloss in Gold Deluxe and it is a beautiful color. I'm really happy it was this color because this act I'm panning this lipstick right now and this matches quite nicely with that. Um, but it is a matte lip gloss so it's not very moisturizing if I wanted to put it on top but I guess I will. And this is just amazing. So I will give you a swatch. So this is a burgundy kind of red-ish lip gloss, this is that one. So it is a metallic matte lip gloss, amazing. And I'm really really excited, I, I, I was kind of hoping that I was getting a lip product even though I'm not very good at going through them, so yeah, exciting. So the next one is 187, ooh that is a single eyeshadow. And it is one that is staying in my C palette at the moment. And it is this one right here. This is the single eyeshadow from Maybelline. It is called Cup of Fizz. And it is a beautiful bronzy eyeshadow. And I hit pan on it last year. 
as a part of a pretty pan color. This is the swatch of it. I'm so happy that I pulled this because I really wanted to work on this. So I'm really, really excited that it is going to be in this one. And um, so I don't know what my goal for that is yet, but uh, I will try to finish it. Uh, again, there's no end date. I think the Paulina palette I want to hit pan and the Maybelline one I want to finish because that's just Ola in my collection. 207. Another eyeshadow. It is a W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow. Oh, I don't like those. I really can't film this uh, intro without anyone interrupting me if it is my camera or my phone. But this is the W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow stick. It is a cream eyeshadow and it is kind of holographic, duochrome, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I need to, ooh, it. This is one that is broken in the mail. Um, I think I'm going to use this as a topper if I can, because it doesn't really layer well when this is the product underneath. So I need to play with this. This is um, very creamy and soft. So yeah, it, it, it's it's broken. It is this one right here. It is beautiful. I haven't found a way to use it on a daily daily basis that is workable for me. So I guess I'm going to try to find that. Number 318. And that is a regular bullet lipstick. And it is one of my older, so that is just great. Of Mineral Lipstick in Fairy Fuchsia. This one right here. And it is a beautiful... Ooh, that looks beat up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't have a lot left of this, so this would be pretty nice to go through if I can finish off my liquid lipstick. Because uh, I don't think it is very nice to have like four lip products on at the same time. This is a very, very creamy product and I love this one. So this is the color right there, swatched. I adore this color and it is going to pair nicely with the lip gloss. I think these are going to pair nicely to, uh, on top of each other, but with my liquid lipstick that I am panning in my panning games, I don't think these are going to layer nicely on that. Number 70. Ooh, that is a liquid liner and I'm pretty excited about this color because it is going to pair nicely with the eyeshadows. It is the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in, it's just called purple, no, Vivid Violet. So this is the color. I'm so excited because this is going to pair so nicely with the purples, this purple and the coppery tones. It's just going to pair so nicely and I think I'm pretty lucky with my color selection right here. It is kind of in the same color family. I'm so excited. And it's pretty pigmented and beautiful. So that is the one. Comes with a small brush. It's not a felt tip, it is a brush. Which I don't mind. A new one. 341. Oh, another lipstick. And I actually think that is a bright pink. I guess I'm paying a red lipstick this year. So I thought it was the bright pink. Um, uh, luckily it's not. <laughs> I'm not ready to pan a bright pink lipstick. This is the W7 Metallic Matte Lipstick and it is in the color Neptune and it is a metallic red one. I really really like this lipstick. It is full. I have used it a handful of times so there's no dip or anything in it. You can kind of compare it to the e.l.f. one which I have used a lot more, like half. <laughs> So hopefully this is going to be nice to just have a red on the side. So I guess this is my red for the year. That is a swatch of the lipstick. It's very beautiful. And it is a matte metallic one, so it can be used every single day without it being too much. Next one. 194. Am I lucky or what? And that is in my smaller C palette and it is a Catrice single shadow and it is called 
eyes wide open so it is a matte white shade which is going to be fairly easy to for me to use because i'm very fair of my skin tone so this is going to be a nice brow brown highlight which i use it for every day every, anyway and let me try to swatch the white shadow even though it's no point but i will try anyway because it it's not insanely pigmented white but it is very uh, brightening when you put it on your eyes not really but it is there it's a little more bright there than it is anywhere else and it is breaking see so it is time to use that sucker up so i'm pretty excited about that i'll take a before um picture right after this and at the same with the eyeshadows oh sorry 248 oh a lip grammar well that's not a good one when you're trying to pan the products it is also from W7, I, <laughs> I'm surprised. It is the W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. So, but it is a twist stock, so let's see how much I have in it. Curing a lot. I will mark this on a piece of paper. I'm not going to swatch it because it's going to be clear. But I quite like this one. It's just not a good product to have in a project when you're trying to pan lip products. Because it's going to last you longer and the last one is 99 and that is a blush <laughs> why not it is one of my oldest blushes and that is the the balm fred boy blush so i'm very excited to see how long it takes for me to hit pan or maybe even finish this it's a very high goal but i just really want to see and I'm so curious because this is a beautiful blush. I love this blush. It's so beautiful. And I have lipstick everywhere. I'm very, very excited to be working on this. I have actually considered working on this this year. So I'm very excited to have it in this project. That's everything for this project. I hope you guys are excited. I'm so excited about everything I got. I think I got some really nice products to work on. Some are harder, some are easier, but I really don't mind. I want to play with color this year and I think I'm going to do that with the colored eyeliner, the purple shadows, the lipsticks. I have lipstick everywhere and I'm just really, really excited. So I hope you guys are going to follow along this series this year. I'm so excited. Please check out Alexandra and Becky down below. And until my next video, please take care.